Hey, welcome back. I'm David Mustard and I have this weekend made my way to Kings Hill Farmhouse, which is a newly restored 17th century farmhouse on the Elmley Nature Reserve on the Isle of Sheppey, only an hour east of London. So this place is easy to get to for a weekend and you're in this beautiful secluded place. This is actually the only family owned and run nature reserve in the UK and it's just a beautiful place to spend your day exploring the wetlands or go bird watching around the area of 3,300 acres. This is slightly different from many of the more modern homes I've toured on this channel, but I've always wanted to stay in a classic British farmhouse in the middle of nowhere and I hope to do it plenty more times as well. And in this house, you can book a room on a bed and breakfast basis like we have done now. And we actually have this whole house to ourselves during this visit. This is actually a whole area of different accommodations. They have huts, glamping tents and a cottage. And then in the evening, you make your way over to this huge barn next to the main house, which has been turned into a luxurious rustic restaurant with a huge set of windows with a gorgeous view of the reserve which you can enjoy in the evening light when having your dinner. And as you can imagine, this is a great place for weddings. So that's something they accommodate for as well. And I will leave a link below for you to check out if you'd be interested in visiting this place. So go book your own holiday. I've never tried glamping, so that might be an option in the future. And here's an interesting fact about this place. Back in 1688, King James II was locked up in this house when he was captured by fishermen when he tried to flee the Protestants. I'm wondering if he stayed in our room actually. So when you first arrive here, there's plenty of parking close to the house and then you just make your way over to the main house, passing smaller barns and sheds on the way. And what a beautiful home this is. On one of the sides here, you have a modern extension where you will find the kitchen and dining area. And this room has floor to ceiling windows looking out into the garden outside. And it also has a beautiful ceiling window that stretches across the room. There's also a patio out here where you can sit and enjoy the nature and wildlife. And I guess you can hear the wildlife outside as well, actually. But I think my favorite view of this house is when you walk around it to the front of the house, which is facing the nature reserve with unobstructed views. This house has an older wing and a newer wing, and there's some differences in the two, which you can see when making your way inside. Just looking at it from this side, it is just beautiful. And this is the kind of house me and Jenny always look for when dreaming about a house in the British countryside. You have the entrance door in the middle and then four beautiful paned windows framing the entrance. So let's go inside. This home is in three levels and it has six bedrooms, all of them with their own style, which you will see soon. But let's start in the kitchen and dining room down here on the first floor. And this is the most modern room in the house. The rest is more traditional and it is fitting that the modern room is in the extension. And as soon as you step inside, you're just met by light, both from the massive floor to ceiling windows with the views of the garden and patio outside and from the unique ceiling window that stretches across the ceiling and then down along one of the walls. Very cool. They've also made the most of the light by putting up a wall of mirrors here as well. Mirrors are always a way to make a room both feel bigger and brighter. And here in front of the mirror, we have the dining table, which seats at least 10 people. And it's a beautiful wooden table with a selection of chairs around it. Above the table, you have three more industrial looking lamps, which is a nice contrast to the more rustic table below. Now let's turn around towards the kitchen. Here we have a very large kitchen island in the middle. The kitchen is all in a dark blue with a full size fridge and freezer and with double stoves and ovens. So enough to cook for a large group of friends. Now on the ground floor, you also have a second dining room, which feels like you've stepped through a time portal. This is more traditional with massive fireplace and dark wood floors with a huge table in the middle. On this floor, there's also several reception rooms. And one of them is this incredibly colorful one in dark blue, reminiscent of the kitchen color. And you can also see that deep blue in the lamp right above you. In here, there's plenty of seating options with a sofa and several chairs around the fireplace. And I really like that they've added some modern design pieces like this lamp here. 
It fits beautifully into this room. And why not take a quick look around the reception room I'm standing in right now? This is also very nice. Now why don't we head upstairs to the bedrooms? And I think we'll start with the one we're actually staying in during this trip. It's the top floor suite and it's accessed by its own staircase and it actually has two bedrooms so you could have four guests here. And up here you get great views of the reserve outside. Here on the private landing outside the room we have a bathroom with a bathtub and shower, sink and toilet. And in the bedroom we have a super king size bed and in here you can see some of the original features such as the beams that stretch from wall to wall. And we also have a fireplace right next to the bed as well, not sure if it's in use at the moment. Now let us have a quick look at some of the other bedrooms in here as well. On the first floor we have the Elmley room and this is just a dream room, it gives major Jane Austen vibes. So I can really recommend this room with the deep blue bathtub just below one of the windows. In here you have this beautiful wallpaper around the whole room and it almost blends in with the views outside. And you have a four poster king size bed in the middle. In here you can also take a couple of steps up to the bathroom with double rainfall showers and two sinks as well. Other bedrooms are all color coordinated. You have the blue room in dark blue, the pink room all in pink and the yellow room or maybe I would call this the mustard room. It's bold to make a bedroom in yellow but I really like that they did the same with the bathroom as well. It looks great with the contrast of the large white freestanding bathtub and the white double sinks on the side. And there's a sliding barn door in between the two rooms as well. This is a truly unique place and I really love that there's this whole experience surrounding this home. You have the whole nature reserve outside which you can book tickets for a guided tour or just enjoy on your own. And you have all the other houses, tents and cabins all around you and then the restaurant barn where you can enjoy a dinner in the evening. I can really recommend this place. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of the Kings Hill farmhouse here on the Isle of Sheppey. I will leave a link below to their booking site so that you can book your own stay. And don't forget to leave a like on the video, that's always very helpful. Now let me know what your favorite part of this home is. Is it the traditional home, the incredible location or is it the beautiful barn? Let me know and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch, architectural masterpieces, tree houses, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. You can also now join my subreddit house videos, I'll leave a link below to that. Click that, join the subreddit and let's talk houses. And thanks for hanging out today and see you soon. Bye bye.